Yes, during most of the year, this is an ordinary bungalow in an ordinary residential street. But at Christmas, as you can see, it becomes quite the winter wonderland. Over the past month, dozens of people have come into Andy and Joy's garden to marvel at the sheer number of lights here. And we can speak to them now. Andy, I know you didn't just come up with this one day. This all really started with one light quite a number of years ago. About 23 years ago it was. My neighbour down in Northampton, he actually put up a Santa in his sledge and strapped it between the tree and his lodge and it just got me. It, it just amazed me. It really did. And we've collected all these ever since. And Joy, what is it you love about it so much that keeps you doing it every year? It's just seeing the looks on the children's faces and the, even the parents' faces when they come to see what we've done and it makes it all worthwhile and we just love doing it. And Andy, people will be looking at this and thinking, where do you put it all? <laughs> it goes up in the garage roof. I've actually purposely yeah, boarded the garage roof out for it. So it's all stored away there. And it takes a long time to get it all ready and set up. It does indeed. We put the stable together in October, about the third week in October. That clears out the space in the garage. Then I can get everything out of the roof and put it together, get it all connected up and test it out, and put it out in the garden in November. And has some of the lights here stood the test of time? They have indeed. Yeah, we've still got three of the original ones, and they probably take about 50% of the power, I should think. And... Joy, will he be uh, back in the January sales at adding to the collection? I, sh I should say he will be. I think he'll be sitting in his conservatory thinking, what can I put extra next year? <laughs> well, it looks absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. as well as putting smiles on children's faces, this is also raising money for charity. They've raised almost a thousand pounds already for the Lynx and Knots Air Ambulance, and people can continue to come and see these fabulous lights until January. And it really is worth a visit.